Hello and welcome to Bold Profits Market Talk Monday for the week of September 14th, 2020. I'm Amber Lancaster and you are watching the Paul Mampilli YouTube channel, the channel for Main Street Stock Investors. So in this week's Market Talk, I'm showing you Bull Profit's strong hands nation, why now is one of the best times to get in on the soon coming small cap stocks, big surge and two trades that you can make today, plus a bonus on how to make fast gains from America 2.0 stocks. But before we begin uh, to follow Paul and me on Twitter, you can find us at Mampilli Guru and at a Lancaster Guru. And please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, if you do, you'll be instantly alerted when new video content is uploaded. Plus, it supports the channel. So let's get started. So in our latest internal investment team call, Paul shared an investment forecast that plays directly into our Bold Profits America 2.0 vision. And it's all about the coming surge in small cap stocks. So if you're unfamiliar with the various uh, stock market capitalizations, here's a quick run through. So first off, a stock's uh, market capitalization is defined as a publicly traded company's worth calculated by multiplying its shares outstanding, which are uh, the stock shares currently held by investors, by the current price per share. So for example, uh, Uber's market capitalization, AKA market cap, as of this past Friday's close, was valued at $64.7 billion. To calculate this market cap, just take the company's current shares outstanding of 1.75 million shares, and multiply it by the current price of $36.98, which equals to $64.7 billion. So there are three major types of stock um, market caps. There's large cap, which is a market cap greater than $10 billion, mid cap, a market cap between $2 billion and $10 billion, and small cap, which is a market cap between $300 million and $2 billion. So there are other types of market caps as well, which include mega caps greater than $100 billion, micro caps between 50 million and 300 million and nano caps less than 50 million dollars so for today's focus we're focusing on small caps so just know this small caps can be mighty stock plays uh, they have great potential for beating institutional investors through growth opportunities and though they can be more volatile and riskier investment plays Historically, they outperform large cap stocks. And as Paul forecasts in our latest call, quote, I believe we're about to see a separation where small companies start to move. Uh, they will get the benefit of liquidity that's pushing out from big cap stocks and into companies that are America 2.0 or more America 2.0. I expect into year end and into 2021, we're going to see a surge of money pushing into America 2.0 stocks. They are more innovative, smaller, and have actual growth versus financially engineered growth of larger cap companies. The other thing I believe that is unfolding is that there are extreme levels of inventory replenishment that needs to happen in our economy. Investors have made a lot of money uh, since the March low, and I believe they are going to make more money come year in and into 2021 when we start to see an acceleration into small cap America 2.0 stocks." End quote. So this is what we call here at Bull Profits and Banyan Hill, fat tail thinking. So fat tails are what statisticians refer to as odd bulges in the extremities of bell-shaped curves. So these uh, events are rare events. They are not widely discussed across major news. Uh, these fat tail events are usually underpriced, which means great potential for gains. And Paul's fat tail thinking is playing out in the following two Bloomberg charts. So this first chart shows you how the Russell 2000, a major index that tracks approximately 2,000 smallest cap U.S. stocks, is on pace for its 
best month performance since 2018. Uh, the second chart shows how a cyclical tilt of the Russell 2000 could produce an earnings geyser into 2021. How does 227% earnings per share growth sound to you? Well, pretty good for mighty small cap stocks. So lastly, uh, this recent blog headline from BNP Paribas says it all. Small caps are set for several years of dominance. Uh, they show how U.S. small caps are at their cheapest, get this, in 17 years. Quote, small caps are at their cheapest relative to large caps since 2003. They are now in the 14th percentile. This has historically led to stronger relative performance over the next three to 12 months. And just like Paul, uh, BNP Paradigm expects, quote, de-globalization of the reshoring of U.S. manufacturing to take place, benefiting small caps with a higher U.S. domestic exposure, end quote. So which stocks do you think will benefit the most from this bull profits nation? You guessed it, America 2.0 stocks. So here are two ways to trade the upcoming America 2.0 small cap surge, plus a bonus for fast gains from America 2.0. So number one, we talk about replenishment, re-inventorying, and reshoring of U.S. manufacturing. So one of the upcoming ways to invest in this trend is with 3D printing stocks. Um, we here at Bull Profit see 3D printing as having one of the biggest impacts on today's industrial economy. As Paul sees it, 3D printing represents the leading edge of the way America 2.0 will show itself in the real economy. And as people go to buy houses, um, they'll need more pipes, furniture, bathtubs, whether it be the objects themselves or the small parts that make them, that's going to have to come into the world of America 2.0. And the most direct manifestation of that is 3D printing. So to buy into this market, consider investing in the 3D printing ETF ticker PRNT. Now PRNT is a 3D printing ETF that follows a number of small cap 3D printing stocks. As this chart shows, since the March low, PRNT has outperformed major indices like the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the Dow. So number two, buy into the Vanguard small cap growth ETF ticker VBK. Uh, the VBK ETF tracks stocks that chase future growth and is filled with next generation stock market leaders. A uh, VBK can get you into an, an assortment of next gen leader small cap stocks at the ground level. And as this chart also shows, VBK is also outperforming major indices since the March 23rd low. And number three, now for your bonus, check out the Rapid Profit Trader Option Service. Uh, this option service, traded by our very own uh, senior investment analyst, Ian Dyer, trades options on our Bold Profits America 2.0 stocks, giving mainstream investors, just like you, the opportunity to make exceptional amount of gains on these stocks. And one of our subscribers to Rabbit Profit Trader has had an amazing run, a 22 straight wins since March 31st of this year. All I can say is wow. Uh, to find out more about Rapid uh, Profit Trader, please click the link in the description below this video right below, and you'll learn more there. Finally, turning toward our U.S. Economic Week ahead, there will be nine major economic releases on Tuesday, September 15th, September Empire Manufacturing and August Industrial Production will post at 8.30 a.m. and 9.15 a.m. respectively. On Wednesday, weekly mortgage applications, August retail sales advance month over month, and the Fed Open Markets Committee FOMC rate decision will post at 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., and 2 p.m. respectively. On Thursday, August housing starts and weekly jobless claims will post at 8.30 a.m. And on Friday, the August leading index in September preliminary University of Michigan sentiment will post at 10 a.m. And of these releases, we'll be watching um, auto, um, the auto, August retail sales, I love cars, the FOMC rate decision and August housing starts. So that concludes this week's Market Talk Monday, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you're looking for Alex, JB, I'm talking to you. He's actually eating his breakfast right now. So he'll be on next week. Alex is my dog. So until next time, everyone, please take care. Have a wonderful week ahead.